Hey guys, it's your girl Zen coming in to say hello. How are you? And happy 2014 to everyone. Um, I'm just touching base here to, uh, I know I'm a little late, but better late than never, right? So I'm here to just talk a little bit about some of my thoughts. And some of my thoughts came from a lot of the letters that people wrote on the Back to Basics. In particular, Dana, Miss Dangerous. Um, I loved hers. I love them all. Um, I want to thank you guys for doing those. Um, I may do one, but it will be for myself. Um, I'm not as open as I may seem. I'm very emotional. And I am not that comfortable with bearing my soul on YouTube. Let's just put it like that. But I'm very thankful for those who are. And um, to share a little bit of the things that I've been thinking about for 2014 that will be my focus. Um, I've come to realize that I have uh, a dysfunction, you know, and that I have for many, many years regarding body image. And it's all wrapped up with also my desire to get to a specific place in the journey. Um, starting with the goals that I set for myself were very lofty. Um, and then the ensuing 25 months of working, working, working to attain the goal, the place, the magic place, shall I call it. And the magic place I've come to realize is really here, right here in my mind. And I am going to be working on erasing some of those old tapes that I play, that play for me whether I like it or not, day in and day out. And I don't know if you guys have the same issue, but I know that for me, some of those tapes are very, very defe defeating. And they make me feel very dissatisfied. And I think that in a lot of ways, a lot of those recordings, my old tapes, are very toxic for me. And because they make me feel kind of like a failure a lot of times. But when it comes right down to it, I know I'm not a failure. I know I've worked extremely hard. I may not have gotten to my magic place, my range, my goals. And that's been very disheartening. However, there's a lot of great things that I am now able to do. And I need to be very grateful for those. You know, I'm able to take up new sports. I'm not laying on the couch. I'm not sitting playing video games all the time. I'm at the gym. And that is amazing. And I'm actually eating very well. Um, I eat whole a lot of the time. I eat very well. And my habits have changed. So I'm super happy about those things. I have to be thankful for all the things that have changed including the fact that I don't look like the same person anymore. So that's amazing in and of itself, right? I mean, the transformation that we all go through. But for me, I'm just really got to get rid of those negative tapes that play in my head that tell me, you know, that I'm not good enough, that I have not achieved what I wanted to achieve, and therefore, I have failed. And the words aren't exactly that I have failed, but the feeling is not a good one. So I am planning to do like a step-by-step -step program for myself to erase some of those tapes. I'd like to erase all of them, but I think it's going to be a step process. And I'm going to try to replace those like I've suggested in prior videos. And I have done some of them, but the ones that I'm going to focus on here in 2014 are going to be the ones that continue to play that continue to make me feel in a negative way. So it's not that my goals are going to really change. It's not that I don't wish to or want to get where I want to, you know, where I should quote unquote be. All those things are still there. However, it's just, I have to learn to be comfortable in my own skin. I have to learn to accept what I have to accept, the fact that my body is not going to cooperate like some of them out there. 
I'm going to be on the other end of the spectrum. And whichever end of the spectrum I end up at, the magic place that's in my mind, the magic place is not the number. The magic place is being comfortable with yourself, being healthy enough to do what you want to do, and working toward where you'd like to be as far as being physically fit, mentally fit, and taking good care of your body. So just wanted to say that for 2014, I don't have any resolutions per se, other than to get some of those tapes erased and replace them with some really more positive messages for myself that I think will assist me rather than drag me down, which is so important when we have extremely lofty goals like I did at the beginning. Some people are going to be able to achieve those goals fast and others it's going to take time. And I'm okay with that. I really am. But sometimes my tapes aren't okay with that. And they play and they upset me. So they're going. I'm staying. And you guys, thanks for listening. Thank you for sharing with me. Thank you for sharing with all of us the trials and tribulations of the journey. I just want to say that I am super happy to be part of the weight loss community. I think it's amazing. I've made some wonderful friendships, people that I would never probably ever have met in my life, and some so many that I have met, and I'm grateful for all of them, and for all of you, my subscribers, and people that stop by and say hello and to offer encouragement. I love you all. So thanks so much. I'll talk to you soon, and I'll see you out here in 2014. Keep pushing.